wrestling contest is a fatal four-way match scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Worcester, Mass, weighing in at 234 pounds, Kenny Dykstra. From Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 275 pounds, Bobby Lashley. And the opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy. And the opponent from Smithfield, North Carolina, weighing in at 215 pounds, Gregory Hill. I'm Michael Cole, this is J.B. Allen, we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. The Rose City's gonna get his face locked in the eye for one, can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started. Or we might have a riot on our hands. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match. The fans are, look at this, pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum.
man, I see nothing but bright things in Kenny Dykstra's future. He's a gifted young superstar, that's for sure. But I'd like to see a little more respect for the rules. Look, when you're just starting out the way Kenny is, you take advantage of everything you can, whether it's on the up and up or not. I just think that he's got so much potential that he shouldn't need to fall back on cheating to advance his career. Draft. That should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Bottom line is, it ain't. This is gonna be big, one way or the other. <laughs> that reversal might stop his opponent's momentum. He can taunt all he wants, but once he's lost the match, he's gonna wish he spent this time going after his opponent. I think you're wrong right about that. I think this is going to make his victory tonight that much sweeter. Wow, great reversal. Nice quick counter there. Oh no, the referee is down. What's going to happen now? Anything and everything. No ref means no rules. He dodged that bullet. This could be big, but it could backfire. What a counter that was. Bobby Lashley's a legitimate tough guy, no doubt about it. But raw power only gets you so far in this business. Sure, but what about his speed? It's rare to see a superstar with the combination of strength and quickness that Lashley possesses. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of wet between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset. Look at the confidence. He's letting his opponent know what's up. He better watch out, though. His cockiness could backfire in a major way. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? <laughs> He was one step ahead on that one. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can't. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. Oh. Man, this one's turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got to admit, it took me by surprise, and that doesn't happen often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you anything can happen here in the WWE. Why doesn't he put his money where his mouth is and continue with the match? Hey, don't get high. He's just having a little fun here. Watch it. He reversed it. Sometimes it seems like there's no risk too great for Jeff. Top rope moves can win or lose you the match. There's very little middle ground. Whoa, there goes the referee. Might as well check the rule book out the window. And that also means that there's no one to call a pinfall or submission. He's looking for a big move here. And it doesn't get much bigger than this. 
Dominator. Oh boy, I think the referee is out of it. They got to start getting sturdier refs. This kind of thing seems to happen a lot. He may get the three count right here. We've seen this before. He'll do whatever. Here's the pin. This could be it. Gregory Helms is the longest reigning champion in SmackDown here. Oh, hold on there. I think you're confusing him with me, and I don't even know how that's possible. You were the longest reigning WWE champion, but Helms held the Cruiserweight Championship longer than you. You can't compare the Cruiserweight Championship to the WWE Championship. That's like comparing apples to, to, to smaller apples. <laughs> Going up that turnbuckle hurts a hell of a lot less than coming down from it. <laughs> These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised. And What's he going for here? Looks like the dominator to me. You don't see too many superstars come back from <laughs> Setting up his opponent for the kill. And there it is, the Dominator. Nice reversal. That's the way to do it. Nothing like the sight of your own blood to take the fight out of you. I hope this is over soon. No matter how many times I see this, I just can't get used to it. What? You getting a little squeamish? This ain't ballet, you know. Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Hey, it's pretty insightful for a guy who's never wrestled a match in his life. Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You gotta be careful when you're going up there. He wasted no time going for that pin. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction in my opinion. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you got that... I want to know when he's going to start fighting like a man and stop playing possum. This could be three right here. One, two... <clears throat> It's crazy to think that we actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands. He's going break. for the pin.
I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I... Here's the pin. One. I cannot remember the last time I've seen a crowd this pumped up. I know what you mean, partner. These superstars have really brought the fans to life here tonight. I tell you, I've got no patience for a superstar who pulls that kind of thing. Playing possum and wrestle. One, two, three. Here's your winner, Jeff Hardy.